guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing a follow along stretching routine with myself that you guys can pretty much do whenever you please before starting your day, to finish off your day, loosen up your muscles, get a little bit more flexible for your training, all that sort of jazz. So let's get started. So we're going to start just by sitting in a comfortable position. You can sit on your knees, you can stand up, you can do whatever. We're just going to roll with the next. We're gonna to lean to the left side first. Really try and pull your shoulders down and away from your head. Hold. We're going to come back up to the middle and swap over to the right side. Pushing the shoulders down and away from the head. I'm going to come up. I'm going to drop the neck forward. Make sure we're keeping the back nice and straight. Returning back to the middle and going backwards, opening up through the chest, dropping through the shoulders, holding. Returning back to the middle, we're going to do some rotations, so forward, to the side, forward, to the side, forward, to the side. Forward. And we're gonna repeat this a couple of times. So get comfortable. Returning back to the middle, arms are gonna go down by our sides. We're going to shrug our shoulders upwards, clench through our lats, push back, open up the chest, return back down to neutral. Shoulders up, clench back, return. Up back, return, up, back, return, up, back, return, beautiful. We're going to place our hands on the ground in front of us. From here, we are going to open up through our chest into a cat position. So this is a cat cow movement. Arching through the back, opening up through the neck, the chest, feel that lower back, Clenching. Then we're going to do the opposite, pushing away from the ground, punching as much as we can through our stomach. Returning back down to our cat position. Into our cow position. Back to our cat. And cow one more time. Beautiful. From here, we're going to go into our stretchy cat position, which means placing our hands in front, keeping our bum in the air, and pointing and pushing our shoulders and our head down to the ground. Keeping our bum nice and high. Stretching as much as you can through your shoulders. We're going to come through into a seal, which is hips down onto the ground, hands in front of us, open up through the chest and the neck, pushing our shoulders away from our body. We can lift up one leg, the other leg. Coming back into our stretchy cat. Rolling through into our seal. Really trying to drop those hips all the way down to the ground. And lying onto the ground. From here, we're gonna pick up one of our legs, pull it in towards our glute, and hold. Swapping legs. Rolling over onto our back. We're going to do similar, but we're bringing one leg up to our chest. Holding in, making sure our lower back is touching the ground. Bringing this leg as close to your body as you can. From here, if you can, grab onto your toe, extend the leg out, 
and push through the knee. If you can't do this, just remain in the tuck position. You can also bring this leg up to help you grab this top leg. And we're gonna go back down to the start, squat legs. Bend through that knee. Tuck this knee if you have to. Extend out through the leg. Grab the toes and push through the knees. If you can lower it, lower it. It's going to help a little bit more with that lower hip. And relax back down. We're going to bend up with one knee, lift the other leg and place your ankle to knee on the other one. You're going to grab through to that knee, pull up to our chest as far as we can. You're going to feel this stretch out through your glute. Holding. Returning back down to the ground, swapping legs, bend through the knee, ankle to knee, grab through the legs and hold. Returning back to the ground. Last one we're going to do lying on the ground is bringing up the knee. We're going to rotate through the side of our body, keeping both shoulders on the ground. You're going to push that knee as close to the other ground, close to the other side of the ground as you can, keeping your bottom leg straight. Return back through and swapping legs. Bend up through the knee, twist at the hips, keep the shoulders down. Hold for a few breaths. and return back in. Coming up. We're going to move into more of our legs. So we're going to sit into a butterfly position. This means our feet are together, trying to bring them in as close to our hips and our thighs as possible. And we're going to hold onto the feet. If you can sit upright, please do so. If you can't, then you can actually push your legs out a little bit further to allow you to sit upright. Obviously, we want them as close as possible, but if you do need to go to the extension of the diamond, you can. So grabbing your feet, we're going to slowly and softly shake out the knees. Now we're going to use either our hands or our elbows to push down onto our knees. I'm going to use my hands because I am quite flexible. So I'm gonna use my hands to push my knees down to the ground while my feet are still together. If you can't do this, remember, you can use your elbows to try and push down as much as you can. So holding that position for 10 seconds. Beautiful, we're gonna bring our legs forward into that diamond now. Move back a little bit so you can see into that diamond and we're going to lean forward and allow it to really stretch out through our hips and our glutes and right underneath our knees as well. I'm going to hold for five seconds, four, three, two, one. Coming back up, going to straighten out our legs at the front. We're going to flex through the toes, point the toes. Flex through the toes, point through the toes. This is going to help stretch out through your calf muscles and your Achilles. It also builds up all those little muscles that are needed for things like handstand training or any sort of exercise where you point and flex your feet or you use your Achilles or calf, calf muscles. Back and forth, a couple more times. And then we're gonna individualize it. So one at a time, swapping, swapping, swapping. You'll see that when you squeeze through these positions, your quads will also engage. Really, really good. Beautiful. We're going to grab our toes if you can 
and pull up and away from your body. So we're really stretching out through our calf muscles now. We're squeezing our knees to keep them nice and straight and pulling up through our toes. So I'll quickly show you guys this one from the side. So you can see there's a little bit of a gap between my ankles and the ground. This is what we're aiming for. You can do one at a time if you please and push down on the knees. Beautiful. From here, we're just going to come forward as far as we can. It doesn't matter how flexible or unflexible you are. We're going to stop at that point and hold. Really trying to flatten out that back. Grab under your knees, under your calf muscles, under your ankles to help you put a little bit more pressure into it. I'm going to grab knees and pretend that I am a little bit less flexible, flexible than what I am. And we're going to hold. For people that are flexible, you can grab under your toes or under your heels. Pull down as far as you can. And then we're going to come into a straddle sit. So legs out to the side. Now, I don't want your legs to be super, super wide. We just need them to be in front of you and separated. Um, this isn't a stretch in itself, so make sure you're sitting here comfortable for this position. We're going to focus on one leg Inch our fingers forward as much as we can and hold. Hold as long as you can. We're going to go five more seconds. Two, one. Returning back up, swapping sides. Same thing on this side. Go to as low as you can and feel the stretch, but don't be pushing it too hard. So walk the fingers forward, sit in your position, hold. If this is all you can do, that is fine. That is what's gonna get you to progress. Walk forward if you can a little bit more. Last five seconds, really try and push, 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 push. Four, three, two, one. Beautiful. Coming back, now we're going to go into the middle. Same thing. Hands on the ground if you can. We're going to push forward as much as we can. Stop and holding. Try and relax and release the tension in the muscles in this position. It is hard because you are in a stretch, but we want to try and release as much te tension through those muscles as possible so we can get the most out of your range of motion. Holding for the last five seconds, try and push it as far as you can. Five, four, three, two, one, coming up. Good work. Sorry, this time we're going to do just some lunges and stuff, almost to finish up. We're gonna place our least flexible leg in front of us at a 90 degree angle with our hips. So we've got the leg straight underneath our hips here. We've also got the foot underneath the knee in front. Our hips are nice and square, meaning that my back leg is a good enough distance, about this much, between your front leg. From here, we're going to rotate the hips forward, squeeze through the glute, push the hips forward, and you should feel in this hip flexor how much it is stretching. So we're not doing anything other than going from here, rotating under, pushing forward. Holding for 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. From here, we're going to step forward with that leg. We're going to sit into our lunge. Now, when you do your lunge, you wanna make sure that your knee does not pass your ankle or your foot at any time. You want your foot to be the furthest point forward. From here, you want to be leaning into it. You can place your hands on the ground, you can place your hands on your knee, but we really want to be trying to relax through this hip flexor as we are stretching it out, and then also through this front leg. Holding this one. Five, four, three, two, one. We're going to straighten out this front leg and lean our weight back into our back knee. 
From here, we're going to bring our chest as close to our leg as possible. We're going to sit in this position with the pointed toe first. It's a lot easier to do with the pointed toe, so we'll start with that. Make sure that your hips are nice and square, they're not leaning into each other. Nice and square, holding. If you want to challenge yourself, you can stretch out and flex your foot. This is going to stretch out your Achilles and calf muscles a lot more than it was before. It's a good little challenge. We're gonna hold for five more seconds and push through these five seconds. Three, two, one, let's go. Five, four, three, push, 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 two, one, and come back up. From here, we're going to put our foot through to come into a sideways line across our body. And we're gonna sit into this front foot. Stretch out this back leg. It is called a pigeon stretch if you already know it. Back leg should be nice and straight. Front leg is bent over your body, hands placed either side, even amount of weight through both, making sure your hips are nice and square again. I'm gonna hold this one for 10 seconds all up. Five, we're gonna lean forward for the last five, as far forward as we can. Five, four, three, two, one. Swapping legs. I'm gonna do this leg facing forward so you guys can see from the front. We're going back to our very start of the lunge. So our 90 degree legs. Rotate through those hips, feeling it through that front hip flexor and holding for 10. Five, four, three, two, one. Coming through, placing that front foot forward, leaning into your stretch, hands on the knees, hands on the hips, hands on the ground, whatever you please. Making sure your foot is the furthest point forward, holding for 10. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Straightening out through this front leg, keeping the toe nice and pointed for now, hands either side, and going as low as you can in that hold, holding for 10. Six, five, flex for the last five, and pull down as much as you can, four, three, two, one. Coming back up. Placing that foot through the legs to be horizontal with your body. Leaning onto that front leg, straightening out through the back leg, keeping our hips nice and square, one arm either side, and holding this position for 10, with the last five seconds being as far forward as possible. So 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five. Hands out in front, reaching down as far as you can. Four, three, two, one. Coming back up. That is it guys, I hope you enjoyed this little beginner stretching walkthrough with myself. If you guys wanna see more, just let me know in the comments below. Make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to my channel. Turn on the notifications so you can see when I next post. Other than that, I will see you guys on my next video. Have a great day.